tune in and let you listen to live audio from around the world. So you can think about what it's like listening to your radio in the car. You have about 70 different options of local radio stations. Uh, tune in turns your mobile phone into a radio that can pick up 100,000 stations from all over the world. I think the first time we turned on push notifications, so we were able to tell our audience for the first time something live happening right now, and that was a big surprise because uh, we were wondering if everyone would care. Um, I think we used it for the World Series, actually, and so the first time we turned that on, it was a huge surprise um, at the sheer number of people that didn't know that event was going on at this moment and then would click on something and come in. And so we saw um, a huge traffic spike as a result. Now it's part of every day. Um, you pick the things that you're interested in. When you pick things like news or sports, we just inform you of what's going on. We're in 55 different car models. We're in things like connected speakers, like Sonos or Samsung. We're in connected televisions, like Samsung or um, with Google, with Google TV. Um, and so in total, those 200 different platforms are a big product challenge, because how do you design a consistent experience when sometimes there's no screen and sometimes it's uh, an 80-inch screen and everything in between? I think that's one of the really interesting things about being an entrepreneur. When you're at a big company, what happens is you start gobbling up additional things um, that become your task and your responsibility as you climb up through the ranks. But when you're at a startup, it's more about firing yourself as swiftly as possible. How do you get rid of tasks and hire someone who's better than you are at something? And then you do that over and over again.